All right, a couple of years ago, United States Airman Lieutenant Colonel Josh Brown walked from Big Lake to Nome as part of the Iditarod Trail Invitational, and now he's on that trail again. Carly Shrek caught up with him before taking off from the start line at Kinnick Lake in this week's Inside the Gates. <laughs> The trail to Nome is not for the faint of heart. It, it takes a, a certain type of person to want to wanna do this. It's not just dog mushers that seek the thrill of Alaska's untamed land. I was able to complete the Iditarod Trail in 2022 on foot um, in just under 25 days. There's another group of racers who traverse the thousand miles, many alone. It's mostly self-supported. Uh, dealing with the Alaskan wilderness and weather and the challenges therein, um, you know, it's, it's an epic, epic challenge. The Iditarod Trail Invitational lures in people from across the world. But for Lieutenant Colonel Josh Brown, it happens in his own backyard. The lifestyle here definitely matches the same type of lifestyle that I grew up with. The active duty airman and avid outdoorsman teaches cold weather survival to service members on J-Bear. So naturally... A lot of the courses that we teach, we talk about the importance of resilience. And I think for you to, to talk about it is one thing, but to actually go out and test yourself is more important. And it translates well to everyday life when things get crazy. Um, to be able to say that, okay, I've been through worse and... Uh, that didn't that didn't break me, uh, so this isn't going to break me. So I think for me, it's more of um, experiencing life um, when it's not perfect and being able to overcome the obstacles that are thrown at us. Race director Kyle Durand, who also served his country through the Navy, says the Invitational draws people with military backgrounds. The camaraderie and then the um, problem solving, you know, challenges that this event um, provides. Uh, attracts that type of uh, person. Um, you know, the people, they're used to it in the military, uh, being presented with the problem and then have, having to solve it on the fly. They're given this latitude that society generally doesn't give them. You know, there's not this protective cocoon around them. Um, they become addicted to it. Addicted to the thrill of overcoming the unknown. A challenge Brown says he happily accepts. I love it. I love it. I can't wait. Can't wait to be out there and enjoy the trail and just, you know, see what, um, see what Alaska brings us. For Inside the Gates, Carly Shrek, Alaska's News Source.